Hello guys, MBA here. This will be my unboxing and quick impressions of the One X Player Mini Pro. The device itself is nothing more than an upgrade from the previous generation. Don't get me wrong, only the outside remains the same, for it comes with a very beefy CPU and GPU. Indeed, the Radeon 680M is almost as powerful as a GTX 1050 Max-Q, with the advantage of supporting ray tracing. Let's get this right. This console right here comes with a 6800U APU, 16GB of LPDDR5X running at 6400 mega transfer per second, 500GB of storage, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5 and gyroscope sensor. Please note that this device can also be purchased with 32GB of RAM or higher storage. The screen is the same than the previous generation, 1200p, 10 point multi-touch experience, pixel density of 323. We also have the same two stereo speakers that do very well their jobs, Battery got an upgrade and is now 48 watt hour, meaning 8 more watts of efficiency. Noting that this handheld supports 65 watt PD charging, so we could expect this battery to be full within 45 minutes. On the controller side, everything is the same as previous generation, besides the joysticks and a whole base sensor. For those who wonder, with this kind of technology, we get better accuracy, better control dead zone, and no risk for joystick drift. I am afraid I have to emphasize again, I am very not a big fan of this D-pad. 
It feels mushy to the touch, the texture makes it very slippery, and the amount of travel is not very good, in such a way that when you press down, your finger is going to be touching both the D-pad and the shell, which, you know, doesn't give really great feedback. Besides that, the rest works wonder. We got nice analog shoulder buttons, nice and clicky Xbox style AXPY button, and also additional extra buttons. On the bottom left side, we have a back to window button right here. Right button here is a custom key to the new overlay that we will check later on, as well as a keyboard shortcut at the top here. The orange button plus the keyboard button will bring on the task manager. The orange button plus the custom key will take a screenshot. Let's finish with the I.O. We get two USB-C, 4.0, both supporting eGPU. Now my good friend Project SPC, that makes a very useful app for all these handhelds, mentioned that it could be quite a challenge to get it working. If you wish to check out his channel, I'll have it in the description for you. Here is the USB 3.0 type that I'm happy they did not remove, as well as the 3.5 jack. We have plus and minus button, and power button. As you can see here, we have the two slots for the dock that I did not order, but this should be quite useful if I do so. One more note I want to add before we turn on this machine. I'm very happy I chose the white one, which looks very pretty. I just wish the RGB was present. Indeed, on the black version, you get RGB on the side, which they did not put on the white version. It's a little bit of a clue for me why they did not do so. But anyway, for me, it was out of the question. I wanted the white because it looks very pretty. Anyway, let's turn this beast on and let's do some testing, all right?
to destroy. Target's ID. Get to the bomb and move in. Friendly UAV overhead. This video will now be coming to an end. My conclusion is that the One X Player Mini is a very capable device. Though if I have to be honest, I would still choose the Steam Deck over this for the following few reasons. Yes, it is indeed more powerful, though at what cost? I get my Steam Deck for a little bit under 400 euros, how to justify that much money for something that might be equally performant at the same TDP. I also enjoy the Steam OS experience very much, I have to say. I know some might say games are very limited on Proton. Though luckily all the games I play are compatible, so then again it is hard for me to only justify buying the OXP Mini because it has better Windows compatibility compared to the deck. I of course understand that those companies cannot sell their products at a loss like Valve is doing. Though in the end I still need to find some good arguments to buy those devices. Especially knowing that most of my viewers will actually be watching this video whether to decide if the OXP Mini is worth it or not. Ok so here's the thing, let us not forget that even though the OXP Mini is more expensive, it has not only more raw power but faster RAM, as much as a better screen and is way more portable. Battery life is also better on the OXP Mini which might be important for some of you. So this will not be an easy decision I believe. This decision will have to be made by yourself only, whether you can afford it or not. That will now conclude this video, as always guys, thanks for watching.